If you are using new quizzes and need to give students additional time on their quiz, you will need to set that up in advance. You cannot give students extra time once a student has started the quiz. So what you'll need to do is open up your quiz that you've already created and go down to build. Even though it's already built, you need to go to build to be able to access the moderate tab. So you'll click on moderate up at the top of your screen and you're going to see that there's both a moderate and an accommodations. Now in the moderate section, if I click on this button here, it allows me to do time adjustments. Now, again, this is a key point. If a student was taking a quiz, they're started it already, they're in the middle, they've already opened it up. If you add time and said like, I wanna give this student an additional one minute on the test, they will not get that additional one minute if they've already began the test. Now, this is if you want to give students additional time for this one quiz only, you need to do it in advance. If I go in and I change this here, I can give the student an additional attempt, so that they would have to take the quiz again a second time for their second attempt. And in that, they would get that one minute. I'm going to turn that off. Um, and now I'm going to show you the second thing that you can do. So in accommodations right here, and again, you'll see all of your students here. I only have one fake student in this class. But if you click on accommodations and choose the pencil, this is going to whatever I set up here is going to be applied to all course assessments for this student. So all quizzes, new quizzes that the student will take will have this time adjustment already built in. So you don't need to remember to do it every single quiz. Do this at the beginning of the school year if you have students with an IEP or 504s and they need that additional time. And so what you would do is choose time assessments and you can give additional time. And so that would be if you have a specific amount of time, five minutes, two minutes, 10 minutes, etc. You can also remove the time limit so that student doesn't have a time limit and they have unlimited for whatever you need. And then the other one is a time limit multiplier. And so that's like if you want students to have double the amount of time on their test, you would do the multiplier of two. So you could choose any one of these to give additional time to your students. And again, this needs to be set up in advance, not while a student is in the middle of an attempt on a quiz. However, this is nice because again, you can set it up at the beginning of the school year. Now I'm gonna go ahead and press uh, save. I didn't add any time adjustments here. But what I'm going to show you is another feature that's new in new quizzes. It's not in the classic quizzes, which is kind of nice, but there is kind of a caveat to it. So I'm gonna go over here to a student who, this is the fake student in the class that I am having take the test. So this is Melissa's student. And I set it for a minute. And let's say that um, the student accidentally submitted the test. This test only has one question. But you always have kids who are like, oops, I forgot to answer question number whatever. And they ask, like, can, can I, you know, finish the test? I accidentally submitted. There is an option that you can do. So I'm going to submit this test. But note, it gives students a warning, 30 seconds left. But note right here, it says the following questions have not been answered or have invalid answers. Question number one, upon submission, you will not be able to change your answers. Are you ready to submit? So students have to press submit. They can't accidentally submit. But anyways, let's say that you do decide a student comes to you and says, like, I accidentally submitted. I didn't mean to. Can you can I retake or reopen the test? Can I go back in it? In classic quizzes, the answer is no. In new quizzes, if I go over here back to Canvas, I'm going to refresh. It's not updating too quickly today. Normally you can see things pretty much live, but I'm going to refresh the page and you can see that it tells me like the log um, for my student here. 
um, attempt one of one, how much time it took to take the quiz or how much time they spent, etc. I could also view the log so I can see if the student was on um, another browser or if they went to another like web page or something. But that's kind of irrelevant, but kind of cool. Um, OK, so where is going with this? Moderate. If I click on moderate now, you'll notice that there's an extra button that says reopen. And this allows me to reopen the test for this particular student. However, it only it keeps all the questions that they've answered so they don't lose anything that they might have accidentally. Um, you know, they don't lose anything that they've already answered, but. The they only have whatever remaining time is left. So this student only had like 13 seconds left of the quiz. So when I reopen this quiz, and I go back over here to the students, um, I need to either refresh, I'm going to click return and go back into the quiz here. Oops, let's see, and reopen. Okay, so here's the quiz. The student can now resume the quiz, but notice they still have 13 seconds left. And so if I click resume, the student now has 13 seconds to finish their test. Um, so it's nice in that case. The thing that I don't want you to get confused by is once this timer runs out, I cannot reopen the test for a student. So if you accidentally forgot to give student extra time and you want to reopen the test for them, you cannot. Um, so when I go back over here now to the teacher view and I go to moderate, um, it still says in progress, it doesn't show, let's see, let me refresh the screen again, moderate. So now I can see that, uh, let's see, the student didn't have 13 seconds left. Let's go back. It should say, I would think it would say zero, but I guess it's saying that the, um, it took them 13 seconds to finish because that was the time that was left over. So if I go to moderate, Oh, it does say reopen right now. Let's see. Something's wrong with it. My computer, my internet's acting slow today. It shouldn't reopen for the student because time was up. Maybe because I didn't press that button. That's probably it. But it's not going to allow the student to um, resume. It should catch up here with the student because of the internet issues going on. Let's see, resume. Okay, yeah, so it says time is up, go to results. So when I go back over here now, hopefully if I refresh, it won't say in progress anymore. It should say that it's been submitted. I think it's just a lag with my internet connection right now. Sorry about that. Um, so yeah, you can see that there's zero time left. And um, if I go to moderate, you'll see that reopen is there. I can technically click on it and reopen the quiz, but it won't allow the student to um, finish. It will say time is up. Now, one of the other big key things, and I'll put this in the link to in the description of the YouTube video. Um, it goes through all the information here. Always, if you go to the Canvas community help pages, the instructor guides, read what's in blue up here because it has important notes. The big one here is that if you had a until date set, so when you were assigning the due date and you put until a particular time, let's say you wanted the quiz to end at 3.10 p.m. And so you put the until date as the date and then at 3.10 p.m. If the student had extra time and so Let's say that you gave them the whole class period to do it, plus you gave them an extra 10 minutes. So let's say that the, the kid had until 3.20 according to the time that you allowed. Because you put an until date of 3.10, at 3.10 exactly, automatically the quiz closes, even though you wanted to give that quiz, that student extra time. So I personally recommend do not use until dates on quizzes. And I personally myself do not give students extra time by setting it up within the canvas, like under moderate. I have an unlimited test, but let's say it's the, 
due at the end of the class period, I tell all my students, okay, turn off, you know, press submit right now. And I could be watching that moderate page to see who's submitted and who hasn't or walking around and telling students to submit. But then if I have those students who do get extra time, they have a 504 or IEP, I just let them know you have extra time right now. You can stay and finish. Or if they need to do it the next day or in their um, resource class or something like that, students can still go and log back into the test. But what I like to do is I like to set up an access code. So in the quiz settings, you can require a student access code with a password. And so they need to enter that password to be able to log into the quiz. And I change that password at the end of the class period. Once all the kids are done, I change that password so a student who does get extra time can't like log in at home and finish when they are looking up all the answers. So the one key thing to note about access codes is you do not want to change the access code while your students are taking the test. If you're trying to prepare for the next period and you want to switch the access code and you switch it while students are taking the test, all their tests close. They can still log back in once you give them that new access code and they don't lose any of their work. It didn't submit it, but it causes chaos. So make sure you're only changing the access code when students are not um, taking the quiz. And then you just can provide that access code to the SPED teacher that's working with the student when they are finishing up in their resource class. Or you give it to the students the next day if they come in at lunch or during flex time to make up the rest or to finish the rest of their quiz. Just give them that new access code and then they'll be able to continue where they left off.